I was recently sent this article. I thought this was very interesting. Pakistani American couple donates $15 million to Catholic University. They are Muslim. Hmm. Interesting. Rafat and Zareen Ansari at home in Granger, Indiana, New York Times. An American couple of Pakistani origin announced $15 million for the University of Notre Dame to create an institute that will aim to deepen knowledge of religion and seek to explain how the traditions and practice of various faiths influence world events, a New York Times report said. Rafat and Zareen uh, Ansari, who moved, I guess it should be, say, two here, the U.S., more than four decades ago, are medical doctors who were born in Pakistan. They spent their lives giving back to the country, which gave them their fortune, giving away an estimated $1 million dollars and countless hours to nonprofit organizations which focus on children with autism, a condition which affects one of their own children. Let me just say this real quick about this whole thing of giving to donate, donating to things and philanthropy is what this is called. Um, the rich and the elites do this thing specifically to write off taxes and to hide finances and everything else. Doesn't mean for one second that they're good people. Okay, don't be fooled by that. Um, after more than a year of deliberation, the Ansari family decided to donate $15 million to develop the Rafat and Zareen Ansari Institute for Global Engagement with Religion at the University of Notre Dame. If you're a Bible believer, the buzzers are going off about now. Global Engagement with Religion. Uh, we came as immigrants, and this country has given us so much, Zareen said, according to New York Times, ahead of the announcement. We want to give something back to America but also to humanity. We want to promote the idea of equality. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're going to see who's giving them so much. Um, in the last couple of years, the majority of problems have been created by the misunderstandings among the religions, said Rafat, an oncologist and hematologist. Okay, remember that. Oncologist and hematologist. I'll show you something on that in just a minute. Um is this the right time for the announcement? Yes, because there's so much going on. The donation itself is sizable for both the university and then sorry family who consulted their longtime advisor, advisors, Merrill Lynch, to set, sort out the process of managing the funds. The finances are going to be held as appreciated securities and cash and will be dispersed gradually over the years. Whenever you give or get a gift of this size, it's tremendous, but particularly to have this name for the Ansari family who is Muslim is tremendously meaningful to us, said the Reverend John I. Jenkins, the president of Notre Dame, New York Times reported. We believe religion is very important in our world. It can have a negative impact, but it should be possible to study the ways religion can be a force for human development and peace. Uh, Father Jenkins said the Institute would look at religion not through a soci sociological or political lens, but through one focused on the religions themselves. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, true followers of Jesus Christ would not take money from Muslims. All right, um, Islam is a false religion. Islam is going to damn people to hell. If Catholicism was truly uh, the religion founded by the Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus made it plain that he is the only way to heaven. All right, so again, Catholicism proves itself to be very false. Uh, I've had a couple times where people have given, given me donations to this ministry, and uh, if I see that there's some issues with it or whatever else, I send it back. I don't take donations from people that are that are lost, you know, knowingly. If somebody sends it to me and I don't I don't look into who they are or whatever else, okay, you know, I'm not doing it on purpose. But the point is, why is Catholicism taking 15 million dollars from Muslims? Hmm. Let me show you something here though about the thing of him. And being a doctor here. You can go to a website called propublica.org and uh, type in the name Rafat Ansari. Okay, I checked his for his wife too. She's not on this list, but check this out. Dollars for Docs is what this is called. How industry dollars reach your doctors. Um, Rafat Ansari, hematology and oncology. Right, they somebody spelled it wrong there, but um, either here or the article, I'm not sure. But check this out. Look at this. $30,963. You say, what is this? It's the amount that uh, pharmaceutical companies give to doctors. Yeah. You think that the uh, doctors out there in the hospitals and private practices and whatever else, you think that they're not on the take? 
Big Pharma is giving these guys lots of money, almost $31,000. And this is just uh, payments from August 2013 to December 2015. So this thing's over a year old. So what's he gotten since then? See, you, if these doctors, there's, there's just no excuse for these medical doctors anymore. I mean, they are, they're drug pushers for corporate, the big pharma corporation. That's what these guys are. Let me just show you here real quickly. Um, uh, ProPublica, do dollars for docs. Check this out. $6.25 billion in disclosed payments. These are, and, and notice it says disclosed payments. What they're reporting. If they're given cash or pens or t-shirts or notepads or well, all the other stuff they get or taken out to eat or sent on a little cruise or whatever else. Oh, they don't report that stuff many times. You see. $6.25 billion given from the pharmaceutical industry to the doctors out there. And by the way, you can type in your doctor in your local area. I don't know if this is uh, probably just America, I think. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, just for America, it's, uh, not in other countries, but $6.25 billion. Absolutely incredible. Um, highest earning doctors. Roger Jackson, orthopedic surgery of the spine, gotten $54.1 million from the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, orthopedic surgery, surgery of the spine. Oh, what's that? Uh, back pain. Oh, doctor, my back hurts. Oh, my back hurts. Oh, I can get you some Oxycontin for that. Or some other pain medication. The pain medications are just basically, uh, they're opioid-type drugs and things most of the time, based on heroin. See, the guy on the street that's selling the heroin, he's not going to make, you know, quite as much money as the pharmaceutical industry. They can legally bring in heroin and turn it into pills that's why a lot of the people on the streets now drug dealers on the streets are actually dealing pharmaceuticals <laughs> and they're not, not even wasting time with the quote unquote illicit drugs so it, it, the whole thing is a stinking scam people so again it just I thought that was interesting that this guy you know is you know oh America's great we can come here and work hard and everything else yeah you can be on the take as a drug pusher for big pharma just insane.